Welcome, St. Matthew fans. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Uh, tonight's game, we got uh, uh, Sanford and St. Eve's. Yeah, my, so I've watched a number of times the past eight, ten years. All right, so uh, it's coming up right now, and I uh, hope you enjoy. Like, subscribe. All right, tonight it is uh, Sanford versus uh, St. E's. Looks like uh, Sanford doesn't look like Nana's playing. So, so St. E's, this is the last game of the uh, 76ers Fall League season. St. E's looking good. So it uh, should be a good game. So I apologize not being able to get down to Route 40 yet this year and have the games on Saturdays because I've been wiped out on the weekend, so I haven't been able to get down. So you got Devin Harris jumping up against Colin Hockenbrock. And a second or two. He got the ball, he got it. Alright. Uh, I guess uh, one only one ref here, okay. Tap Sanford. Oh, Johnson, no good. Knocked out of bounds, I think, by Sanford. He saw it. Jaden Dickerson bringing in. Get the ball back and bring it up. Here Brown, the jump shot in the face, no good. Rebound, Devin Harris, outlets it. Johnson, he's good. Tim Johnson makes two knuckles Panthers. No good. Rebound. Stanford. Johnson. Loses. Save. St. E's, the Vikings, the pass, the bucket. Number 20. Good work. It's a 4-2. Okay. Oh, no, 2-2. Saini's first pass. Jump ball. That one to Stanford, so it'll be Saini's ball. Two two. Dickerson. Three pointer from the thirty two. Make it a five two. They need. Devin Harris, no good. Rebound, Jason Dixon. Back out to the corner, drive baseline, offensive foul call. That's five four. Get it 
off Devin Harris who misses the shot off the bank. Dickerson based on good. Jaden makes it seven to four. Foul on they did. Terry Brown. Pass. Rock and rock. Got good. Nine and four. A lot of Sanford starters are sitting on the bench. They're here. Just probably just resting up. Getting ready for the regular season. Corey Dickerson is over there. Perkins. Hey, there's a pass to Devin Harris. He's fouled on the floor. Could have been Sanford's ball. Yeah, both Perkins and Corey and Son are here, so I don't know if they're going to play or not. Not on they have a jersey on, so. I'll go with this squad. Very capable. There's pass to Ruby. Ruby calls for the walk. Second referee is right. He was out of his hiding somewhere. I didn't see him earlier. <laughs> Pick it up, right half court. The three from Brown is no good. It's here. Somebody shot on a rebound, it would be Sadie's ball underneath. Ah! And the play by Nasir Brown as he's able to hit off out of bounds off the sample. And he'll bring it in on the side, kick it out to Dickerson. All stays there. Still nine four. Dickerson. Rock and rock, doesn't go. Dickerson follow up, it's good. So we get it up over Devin Harris here, nice shot. There's a blocking foul called on Colin Hockenbach. Two shots for Min Johnson. Johnson first is good. Seconds off, rebound, Saini, gets it out to Hockenbrock, to the corner. Dump it down low to Hockenbach, and he's kind of stuck underneath, gets a block by Harris. Lead pass though, Johnson to Ruby goes out of bounds. 11-5. Another game is Apo and Dickinson, it's 16-6 right now, I think. Apple is up. Let's 
go first half. See to your left, 11 to 5. Ball goes all the way out front. Sear Brown. We get a trip call. Stay knees on the side. Timeout. 10:41. Go first half. St. E's leading Sanford 11-5. All right, back to the timeout. Sear Brown. Looks like Sanford in a zone. Long shot, no good. We got Sanford. We'll push it up. Ruby spin. Second, yeah, but uh, maybe this is his first. My bad. The Ruby makes both his fouls. Got eleven Dickerson. No. Six point lead. St. E's. 
Johnson is going to go down. Three pointer from the corner is good for number 13. Seventeen fourteen. I know most of the Sanford guys, but uh, not tonight. <laughs> Here they come. Drive. Didn't fall, but nice pick up. And good dish off, but it doesn't fall. Colin Hockenbrock. Nice steal, but Sadie's able to come up with it. Get the ball out. The left. The tap. No. Ball one more time. No good. Number 33 off the board. He's got it. Sadie's making it 19 to 14. Five minutes to go here in the first half. We have a timeout call. Sadie's leading Sanford 19-14. Stanford ball trailing by five. Ball is loose. Then he's able to pick it up. Lock and rock. He loves to get down to it. He'll keep two. Lock and rock. First shot up and good. Is no good. Rebound part of Ruby. 24 18. Minute 51. Ruby with another three. You got it. 24 21. Minute 35 to go. So part of Ruby's two big threes. Because the other half really has narrowed this gap. They got a chance to tie. Johnson. Ball on the top ball. Good rebound, Saney. Minute 16. Good lead by three. Timeout call for the minute 12. We go to halftime. Saney's leading 24 21. All right, so Saney's bringing it, bring it in with a minute 12 to go. Saden Dickerson bringing it up. Across the line. Sanford picking him up. 
Jacobson. We get oh the three pointer from Jacobson. He's able to get it back. Fifty five seconds. Jacobson. He was just good defensive play by Sanford. And then Lynn Johnson able to take it all the way down the court, make it just a one point game, 24-23. And he's still leading by one, but Sanford has made the charge. Now they take that last shot. 15 seconds. Dickerson. 10 seconds. This year, 8 seconds, 6 seconds. Wow. It gets farther out. Okay. They drive. They lose the ball. 0.4 seconds. St. Eve won't get a shot. You know when everybody used to go 10 seconds? You usually get a shot at 10 seconds. Point four. That's enough for it. It's just time for attack. That's it. Halftime, Saney's leading Sanford 24 23. Sanford starting off with the ball. Nana on the side. That's why he wants to play. Put his jersey on. He'll be resting him. Johnson, drive. He gets that ball back and makes a great turnaround with Sanford in the lead, 25-24. That's the first lead since the first bucket of the game. And he loses that one. Speed ahead. Dickerson brings it back the other way. Oh, that's a ball. Two shots. Never have two. two. They have to lead by one right now. Still leading by this one. Game on the other court, 43 29, half hours ahead of Dickerson. Half hours, the only team here that was able to defeat Cardinal Harris. Take a look at some of these Cardinal Harris. Really good players on that team. They'll have a good squad this year. That's a, that was a real nice shot by Jaden Dickerson. Three, right the guy's face. Making it 27 26, put the St. Eve back in the lead. Harris. Ooh, he's got a call for the walk there. Brown bring it up. Feed to Hockenbrock, who also gives it off, but can't make that shot. Kevin Harris with the rebound in the outlet. Comes down, no. That was Harris with the miss. Going to him. Brown. Screen from Hockenbrock. He kicks it back out and over. There we 
get through the loop of the ball. Harris knocks it loose, picked up. Up court. Johnson, nice pass to Harris, puts it off the board and it's good. All tied up, 28-28. 15-47 to go in the game. Been a tight one. Colin Hockenbach. Roll through the rim, foul, two shots. Two shots, and then he shoots that second one. Corey Perkins, Hassan Perkins. Nana will all be coming into the game. Twenty nine, twenty eight. Thirty to twenty eight. Now charge the offense, Corey Perkins. He's the uh, point guard for Sanford. The song Perkins lights it up right away. No. Rebound. Hockenbrock. He's able to get it out. Dickerson. Can't quite get it. Rebound Perkins across to Johnson. He'll drive. That ball is somebody, I think it may have been an alley oop that swatted away. Corey Perkins misses. Nana misses. Ball goes to St. Eve. Or no. I think they were saying it. No, it doesn't. I thought he said it. Just going towards the Vikings. Stanford with some extra pressure. Don Perkins. Plenty of energy, he hadn't played all night. Hockenbrock, over to Sear Brown, he can't hit. Don Perkins. Jump ahead, no good. Maybe we get the rebound. Dickerson. Back over to Brown for a three. Can't hit it. Gets the rebound though. Able to go underneath and make the basket. 32 28. So, even though the first teamers have come in. Oh well. It's all too soon. So that's good by Nana. No shoot on that. Nana I'm trying to make it 32 31 if he makes this. Picking up. Cool, cool. 
Hockenbach able to save that as a trip to reverse it. Hockenbach, he's fouled by Nana, two shots. So Colin Hockenbach trying to make it a five point lead. He's got two foul shots, a nice try. Good ball though. Got one more coming. Ten and a half minutes to go in the game. Three point lead for St. Eve's. Of course, they'd like to make it a two possession game with this foul shot. They do. Jump by four. 35-31. Corey Perkins with the ball. Two is on, Perkins. Johnson drives. Ward, no good. Rebound, Nana. And he puts it off the board, it's good. 35-33. Head to Hockenbach. He looks to throw it all the way across court and throws it out of bounds. It's just nine and a half minutes to go. Stanford down by two. All the way out to Hassan. Pass to Nana, and the slam, and one. And Nana with Goose. Giving the lead to Sanford, 36-35. Pocket Brock. Tie game, 36 36. Same use one point lead. Corey Perkins with the ball. Kick it to the corner. Three. No good. Rebound. You see Brown for St. Eve. You see it to the hoop. Tries to put it up. No good. Sample with the rebound. And then Johnson will make the layup. 38-37. Sanford leading by one. Seven minutes to go. Follow up. Both just roll off and then it's ripped down by Nana. He kicks it out to Corey Perkins. And then Johnson at baseline. Bucket, fouled, and one. Sanford now with a three point lead. So just three points over Nana's over the back. 640 and counting. Three point lead. Devin Harris on the ball, so Sanford with full court pressure. Foul's going to be on Carter Ruby. Jaden Dickerson gets it across the timeline. Three-pointer, no good. Rebound, St. Eve's knocked out of bounds. Knocked out of bounds off of St. Eve's. It looked like Corey Perkins hit that ball. Rolled off his leg. Three-point lead, Sanford. Foul, 33. Five and a half minutes to go. Sanford, the three point lead, the lob, the non is no good. St. Eve's able to come up with it. All stays with St. Eve. Jaden Dickerson. Oh, 
Nana patrolling it inside there. Tough to get it up. And there he is, Nana with the follow up, slamming it home, making it 42 37. Shots as that clock running 416, 450. Big 40 free throws right here. Gotta make them both. Makes it first. 4238. Four minutes to go. Makes them both. 4239. Son Perkins brings it down. Kicks to the head from Corey Perkins. Corey back to the side. To Corey in the corner. He drives. Kicks it back out. Ruby hit two threes earlier. Oh. Sat it down. Off of Hawk and Brock. Off of St. Eve. Stanford ball. Three and a half minutes. You see the clock right behind Nana. Off to Carter Ruby. Son Perkins thinks about it, but then makes the drive, and then, oh, it just rolls off, but who's there? Nana, nah. but he's got the strip by Nasir Brown. And then a foul by Corey Perkins going for the block. He'll shoot. Two shots, 248 in counter. Probably stop. He makes the first. Nice big cut free throw on the three. 42 to 40, just a one point lead, or two point lead. He can cut it to one. Two and a half minutes to go. I think we'll stop the clock when the whistle this tight again. Every two minutes, we miss the second one, ball gets loose. Hockenbrock with a chance to tie it up. He can't get it off. Can't get it up there. Son Perkins can't hit. Devin Harris, no basket. Sear Brown with the ball. Tap that by Hockenbrock. Ooh. Hockenbrock misses that one. Ooh. And, and a foul by Jake Dickerson. He was trying to tap that ball loose and just couldn't get up that high as where Devin Harris was. He ran, ran right into him. So, minute 53 to go. Two point lead for Sam. Down underneath, Nana. It's good. 44 to 40. He is just one dominant basketball player. He's on the floor. He's on your team. He's pretty happy first. It's a nice out. Yes, now Jaden came towards the basket, tried to use the board and his momentum, but it was just a little bit too hard. Good, good move. Minute 13 to go. It's going to be Sanford Ball on the side. That's Corey Perkins. Four point lead. Doesn't have to do much because they're just going to stall and get fouled. Because I don't know how many fouls they have, but you got to start fouling them right now because they, they're going to just play to win the basketball game as they go into their, their stall offense. Not even an offense, really. <laughs> just a stall. We got guys popping out. There you go. Corey will pop out 42 seconds. Unless they can steal the ball. How many fouls you get? Yeah, they, they don't even call the foul. There's that one called. 32 seconds. And it is 101. 101. Corey Perkins. Good. 45. No, that didn't count. Yeah. 
total fouls. Total fouls not counted on the board, so we're not sure how many more they got to go. I think that's it. Uh, so it'll be 28.2 seconds to go. Four point lead. There's the one on one. Five perfect now. Making it 45 to 40. Not over. But it is. Two three point shots away. 46 to 40. There's only 27 seconds. Five. Sierra Brown, there's Jaden Dixon. No, it's not Jaden Dixon. That's Colin Hockenrock. He'll float it all the way out. They get it. With eight seconds. Three pointer makes it 46 43. With two with 1.7 seconds. I hope for a miracle tie at 1.7 if he misses this. Which he does not. So 47-43. Stanford once again with another victory. A lot of talent. A whole lot of talent. We saw a whole bunch of it tonight. Except for maybe a got Jaya Davis. Oh, that actually went in, didn't it? Ah, yeah, well. The final. Stanford 48. And St. E. 43. Good game, gentlemen.